We're still in the book of Acts as we're moving backwards from Revelation to Genesis and we're looking at chapter 4 today. Still in the first section which is for chapters 1 through 7 covering about a two year period in the ministry of Peter, the apostle in Jerusalem. You remember yesterday we saw the man that had been lame since birth uh, who was laying at the uh, temple door begging alms and uh, made it clear that he was so lame that he had to be carried to being put there and uh, of course had drawn a huge crowd when he started walking and leaping and telling everybody in the temple what had been done. We pick up the story in verse 16 where it says, what shall we do with these men for the fact that a noteworthy miracle has taken place through them is apparent to all who live in Jerusalem. We cannot deny it. But so that it will not spread any further among the people, let us warn them to speak no longer to any man to his name, as to Jesus' name. And when they had summoned them, they commanded them not to speak or teach at all in the name of Jesus. But Peter and John answered and said to them, Whether it is right in the sight of God to give heed to you rather than God, you be the judge, for we cannot stop speaking about what we have seen and heard. And when they had threatened them further, they let them go, finding no basis on which to punish them on account of the people, because they were all glorifying God for what had happened. As I read the headlines yesterday and the internet uh, news and so on about all of those that have been killed in Nigeria, uh, my heart was saddened for two great reasons. One is that they were Christians and they were slaughtered for no other reason than that they were Christians. And obviously they knew the danger because this has been going on in Nigeria for a number of years. The second reason was in my church in Florida I had a number of families from Nigeria and they became very close friends and very wonderful members of our church and I know that they probably even knew some of the people that had been killed in those attacks in Nigeria but they were very aware that their faith in Jesus Christ was putting them at danger in a Muslim country and they like Peter and John very clearly thought that it was more obviously good to continue to proclaim Jesus regardless of the risk. So we don't think about these things just happening in the old Bible years and years ago, but they're happening today. They're happening in countries where Christianity is not allowed, and they're happening too frequently. I hope that you'll take a moment after you think about today's devotion and whether we should obey God or whether we should obey man, and think about those people in Nigeria and lift up a word of prayer for the families affected and for the rest of the Christians that are still there in Nigeria who very much put their lives at risk every day because they profess to be Christians. And that's my thought for the day. God bless you and have a great day.